everybody, how are you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for being here today. Today I am going to show you guys how to put together a really easy crock pot meal, which is the Mediterranean pork chops. I've also put together a separate video for those of you who are interested in putting the same exact recipe together for a frozen meal exchange. If you are interested, the links are down below. Also, there will be a clickable link at the end of this video. But for the sake of this video, let's go ahead and let's get started and let's get crocking. So let's go ahead and start with our ingredients. You will need some olive oil. You will also need some chicken broth. You'll also need some chicken seasoning, so today we're going to be using the Weber beer can chicken seasoning. You'll need dried basil leaves, dried oregano leaves, and then also some paprika. You'll also need a large potato or a sweet potato, some garlic, and then six to eight pork chops. And then last but not least, the most important item in this whole recipe is your crock pot. So now that we have all of our ingredients on hand, we're going to start putting them inside of the crock pot. So you will need for this recipe six to eight pork chops. So since it's just the three of us in my family, I'll be using six. Next, you'll need one potato or one sweet potato, peeled and cubed. My family does not like sweet potatoes, unfortunately, so today I'll be using a, just a regular potato. Next, you will need four cloves of garlic chopped. Then you'll need a half a cup of olive oil. And then you'll need two cups of chicken stock or also known as chicken broth. Now moving on to our spices and our herbs, you will need two tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of chicken seasoning, teaspoons of dried basil leaves and last but not least two teaspoons of dried oregano leaves and that my friends is how easy it is to put this recipe together so let's go ahead and put the lid on top of our crock pot and we are going to cook this on low for eight hours so now that it's done cooking, let's go ahead and take the lid off so you guys can see what it looks like. So as you can see here, there's lots of liquid inside, so the pork chops did not get dried out. You can also see the cubes of potatoes. And let me tell you, I wish that you guys can taste this because I tasted it as it was cooking and it tastes amazing. So let's go ahead and show you guys how we went about serving our dinner for this evening. So just making it really super simple, just like the really super simple recipe, I just went in my backyard and pulled some lettuce leaves and made a nice little garden salad. And then I made some white minute rice, laid the Mediterranean pork chops right on top of the rice. And that was our dinner for the evening. It was absolutely delicious and the family was in love with the food. And we give this a three thumbs up. So anyways, that is it for the day. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did and you would like to watch more Crock-Pot videos, you can click on the picture down below and it'll take you directly to the Crock-Pot playlist here on this channel. Also, once again, if you are interested in putting together a frozen meal exchange with your friends and your family, go ahead and click on that picture above and that will take you directly to that playlist. So again, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, show me your support. Also leave a comment down below because I love engaging in conversation with you guys. Also let me know if you've tried this recipe, what you guys think. 
And if you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe. If you like this video and you like the content on this channel, then please do not forget to share with your friends and your loved ones on the networks that you belong to. The networks that I belong to are Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, and Pinterest, and all of the links are listed down below in the description for your convenience. So anyways, again, that is it for the day. Thank you everybody for being here all the way to the end of the end slate, and until next time, I will be crocking with you guys soon. Bye guys!